The current Transbay Terminal, located at First and Mission Streets, just one block south of San Francisco's Market Street, was built in the depths of the Great Depression as a sign of hope for the future. It's being replaced with a new, optimistic expression for our future, a new multimodal transit center that is modern, efficient, and graceful. It was built in 1936 and paid for with bridge tolls. At the time, the lower deck of the Bay Bridge had electrified tracks and trains ran from San Francisco to the East Bay and Sacramento. They were operated by companies with romantic names like the Interurban Electric, the Sacramento Northern, and of course, the Key System. In 1946, at the heyday of rail transport in the United States, 26 million people used the Transbay Terminal each year. Following World War II, the automobile became king. When the tracks were removed from the lower deck of the Bay Bridge in 1958, the Transbay Terminal was converted to a bus-only facility. The current terminal has the highest transit connectivity in the region. Its main tenant is AC Transit. It also serves Muni service throughout San Francisco, Sam Tran service to the peninsula, Golden Gate Transit to Marin County, Greyhound service connecting passengers throughout the United States, paratransit service for the disabled, and many others. However, the facility does not meet current or future transit operating needs, or the growing commuter workforce that we will see in the state of California and in the Bay Area. To bring back the glory of the original terminal, and plan for a more sustainable future where people are not dependent on the automobile, the Transbay Joint Powers Authority is building a new multimodal transit center in two construction phases. The first phase includes building the new transit center designed by Pelly Clark Pelly Architects. It also includes constructing a temporary terminal for the current operators to use while the new station is under construction a bus storage facility for midday parking of AC transit buses will also be built under the west span of the Bay Bridge. In the second phase, the Caltrain rail line will be extended 1.3 miles underground from its current terminus at 4th and Townsend directly into the new station, going uptown under 2nd Street. This line will also serve California high-speed rail. While the station is located in San Francisco, it does have connections to the nine counties and ten different transit operators, including high-speed rail from Southern California. The Transbay Terminal Redevelopment will bring housing to a new neighborhood, with seven new high-rises built on former state-owned land. The land is being transferred to San Francisco and the Transbay Joint Powers Authority for the purpose of building the new transit center. The proposed 1,000-foot transit tower neighboring the transit center will bring many jobs to the area. The terminal is five levels, including two underground levels. The deepest level handles Caltrain commuter trains and intercity high-speed rail trains. The lower concourse level includes passenger waiting, ticketing, as well as retail activities. On the street level, Muni buses board passengers quickly in a completely weather-protected area. Muni is right across the street from the Grand Hall, where passengers will stream to the trains downstairs and the buses upstairs. On the street level, on the west end of the terminal, we have additional circulation to the trains and buses and also retail and other service functions. The mezzanine level will have space for community meetings and other activities. The bus level provides an elevated waiting area for Transbay bus passengers with a direct, dedicated connection to the Bay Bridge. The station itself is about a million gross square feet, four city blocks long, and capping all this is a new 5.4-acre park. The park, under design by the project's architects Caesar Pelly and Fred Clark of Pelly Clark Pelly, will feature a children's playground, as well as art, cultural and educational activities. 
There's also space for a music amphitheater. There will be water features designed by the artist Ned Kahn as well. The vision is for the park to accommodate the people who live in the neighborhood, that work in the area, and that come into San Francisco as transit riders connecting to various parts of the Bay Area and eventually the entire state of California. Natoma Street is one of the most blighted areas of the Transbay Redevelopment Area today. Yet, in the not-too-distant future, it will be a true destination for both residents and visitors of San Francisco alike, with wide sidewalks, retail, coffee shops, and other commercial activities similar to what you see at Grand Central Terminal in New York City. Mission Plaza will be shared by both the Transit Tower and the new station. The current design features redwood trees, California's own state tree, reaching upwards toward the plaza's canopy above. An exciting feature that has been proposed by the architect Cesar Pelli is a funicular as one of the ways to access the rooftop park. The Mission Plaza leads into the Grand Hall, the ground level of the new transit center. The hall is a very light and open space which welcomes the public to the regional and statewide transit system. An impressive oculus brings light into the Grand Hall and serves as both an aesthetic feature as well as an engineering structure. On the bus level, AC Transit, Greyhound, Western Contra Costa, Muni Treasure Island buses, and Amtrak shuttle buses would operate in a light and modern facility. A very different experience than what is currently available at today's Transbay Terminal. High-speed rail is an important component of the Transbay project. The TJPA is designing a station that under both local and state law will accommodate future high-speed rail operations from Southern California. The bond measure that passed in November 2008 specifically calls for the first phase to include the construction from Anaheim into San Francisco Transbay Terminal, which will be the northern terminus of the high-speed rail for San Francisco. The high-speed trains will operate on the Caltrain corridor from San Jose into San Francisco. At 7th Street in San Francisco, the tracks will depress and go underground to a new underground station at 4th and Townsend, then continue in a mile-plus long tunnel beneath 2nd Street. Both Caltrain electric trains and Los Angeles-bound high-speed trains will use the tunnel into the Transbay Transit Center. The underground rail levels will be light and welcoming. Once the trains enter the underground level of the new station, passengers will be greeted by the transit center in the new heart of downtown San Francisco. From the new station, passengers will have access to quick and easy connection to buses that will allow them to get to all other points in the Bay Area. The TJPA's vision is a safe, efficient, convenient, seamless station surrounded by the densest and most beautiful urban neighborhood in the Bay Area. This vibrant new neighborhood will include seven residential towers within the Transbay Redevelopment Area. They will be built on land that was formerly owned by the state. This redevelopment not only helps fund the new transit center, it brings a new neighborhood south of Market Street to life. Today, Folsom Street has chain-link fences and narrow sidewalks. In the future, it will be a boulevard with views to the bay, wide sidewalks and landscaping. Neighbors will be able to sit at outdoor cafes and stroll along the sidewalks. Once the temporary terminal closes, the site will be transformed into a one-acre park and 762 new residential units by the redevelopment agency. This park, unlike the park on the roof of the station, will be a neighborhood park where people can play frisbee and walk their dog. It will be an open community space for the new Transbay neighborhood. This visionary transportation and housing project will transform a downtown area opened up by the removal of the Embarcadero Freeway and return the San Francisco Bay Area and the state of California to a culture of mass transit.